Hello there everybody. I'm just going to double check. Wait for a moment because I've just... Yay! Hello there everybody. It's Sally Cathcart here. Just thought I'd better wait because I've just managed to do a teaching tip to myself which didn't broadcast. So um, if you're out there and you're listening, maybe you can give me a quick thumbs up and it'd be great to know that I am broadcasting live, but I'm pretty sure I am. So welcome to today and today I'm looking at this idea of being a professional. Now, over the last few weeks, we've been looking at the four pillars of piano teaching, and this is, in this penultimate teaching tips of this academic year, this is the final pillar. So we've looked at um, being a pianist, which is the first one, we've looked at being a teacher, and we've also looked last week at this idea of being a musician. Today, being a professional. And it's probably the one that many teachers, myself included in the past, find the hardest and the most elusive. Now within this pillar we find three different subcategories. The first one of which is the idea of running your teaching studio and having everything set up so that you can run it effectively and efficiently. And that means having contracts, having policies and having some procedures for problems that arise in place. That's your first part. The second part is then running your teaching studio as a business and um, even if you've only got one student it's important to know that nevertheless you are offering your services, you are a business and you need to have some sort of um, marketing plan. For example, you know, how are you going to attract new students to you? Also part of that marketing plan, how are you going to keep your current students? And that can involve things like making sure you host concerts on a regular basis. I hosted, for example, a piano party at the weekend. I was going to be live, but ended up being online. But those things create, as one, um, one of my mums said to me, you know, a, a family. It, I have a piano family and they all know each other and um, they all encourage each other, basically. So really important that you think about that whole uh, teaching studio side of things. And the third part of this being a professional is thinking about yourself and your own professional development. So um, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What could you do with really developing further? Now, if you're new to piano teaching or fairly new, only been teaching a few years, I think the, the key point here to think about is running your teaching studio, however small that might be. And I would really, really urge you to put at least a simple contract in place to protect yourself from being taken advantage of by uh, parents and adult students who maybe they don't respect because you haven't pointed it out to them. They don't respect your space or the time or even your professional opinion. And we know that this is a real area of concern and worry and anxiety for many piano teachers not being respected by parents. And I would argue that if you have a contract and some policies in place that actually outline how you expect to be treated, then those problems will tend to go away on the whole. I'd also just remind you that it's your choice whether you choose to accept students parents, etc., or not into your teaching studio, you can say no. So finally, the last point is your own professional development. And I would really urge you to um, get out there and get going on some, whether it's getting a mentor or a coach. Maybe you're going on one of the live um, summer schools this year. How exciting. First time in three years. If you aren't, then drop us a note below and I'd love to know where you're going and what you're looking forward to. Or maybe you're going to be doing what I'm probably going to do this year, and that is turning to your bookshelves and just catch up on a bit of reading. So, thank you so much for watching. I know I'm live because I can see some people there watching me. Thank you. And um, I'll be back next week for the very last teaching tip of this academic year. In the meantime, happy teaching. Take care. Stay safe. Bye for now.